the Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. I'm going to be applying that all over my chest, up to my jawbone to block out any skin tone. I'm using a damp beauty blender to easily blend out the cream. To prep my skin for the color and eliminate any shine, I'm using NYX's Shine Killer as a primer. To prevent my eyeshadows from creasing, I'm using a waterproof eyeshadow primer to prolong the wear of my makeup. And I can't forget to put on my sexy little collar. Going back in with my black bean pencil, I'm mapping out the cat contours of my face. I'm doing a rough sketch on the sides of my forehead and on my cheekbones. I'm then heavily applying the jumbo pencil and then I'm going to blend it out with the beauty blender. The beauty blender works wonderfully for this. It just smooths it out so beautifully. If there are any harsh lines, I'm simply just blending them out. I'm not trying to make this any bigger than I've already drawn it, but just simply smoothing the edges so then blending later on is a lot easier. To mattify this and set the cream, I'm using a matte black eyeshadow and I'm just stippling that all over my face with a big powder brush. This is going to set the cream in place and also bring out the pigment. I also went ahead and darkened my forehead bit right there. Moving on to the Jumbo Pencil in Milk, I apply that everywhere that I didn't put the black bean one and with a separate beauty blender that is clean, I am just blending it into the black and you can see I'm kind of rolling it into the black just so I can keep my color separate but still blended together. The beauty blender works so great with these creams, I just can't believe it. They just smooth it out so effortlessly, you can see here, it just blends it out so beautifully. You can see I'm not really focusing on blending the colors right now, rather just getting the white as pigmented as possible. And I also ran some white on my eyelids. Because this is another cream, we need to set it, so I'm using a matte white eyeshadow to set it in place and I used a little eyeshadow brush just so I could have more precision. And I dotted this everywhere around my face to lock the cream into place. To begin blending my colors together, I took this gel eyeliner and smudger on the Beauty Blender and simply rolled that from the black into the white to create a nice smooth line. And for even more precision, I went in with a fluffy brush just to really carve out my cheekbone. I began to create a harsher edge on my eyebrow and blend it out the other side. I loaded up a fluffy brush with a matte white eyeshadow and ran that along the edges of color to blend them together seamlessly. Now time for some detail. I'm using a liquid black eyeliner to define and widen my nose for a more feline look. And back in with a gel eyeliner on a small detail brush, I am blocking out the bottom of my nose to represent a cat nose. And using the liquid eyeliner again, I'm drawing a line from the bottom of my nose to the top of my lip. To create the appearance of a more feline mouth, I'm using a black liner to fill in my upper lip. I felt I looked a little sad, so I gave myself a little bit of a smile past my lip line. To add more depth on my eyes, I'm using a glittery grey eyeshadow to soften any harsh lines. I'm blending that into the black where my eyebrows would be. 
This wouldn't be a cat makeup without a huge cat eyeliner. So what I'm doing is taking a black eyeliner and simply drawing the biggest cat wing that I could possibly do. To add some dimension and shape to this makeup, I am connecting my eyeliner from the inner corner to the line on my nose. And then running that line underneath my bottom lash line. For a little more fun, I am drawing another triangle underneath the one I just did. And to darken my eyes, I am using a black eyeliner to fill in my waterline, as well as on top of my bottom lash line so I can begin to smoke it out. Using a small shader brush and a more charcoal black shade, I am using that and simply going underneath every line I have and just blending it out to create a little bit more dimension. I also brought that up along my bridge of my nose on both sides as well. I'm curling my eyelashes before I apply some false lashes and I'm actually going to be applying two pairs today, one on my top and one on my bottom. But first, I'm going to apply some mascara so the eyelashes blend easier. My top lashes are called Monotone and I am in love with these lashes. I think that the half white, half black is so gorgeous and works so well with this cat makeup. And the bottom lashes are called Extreme Measures and they are very PC lashes and I absolutely adore them. This look needed a little more detail, so I'm using a studio liner, this is a silver one, and I'm just doing three stripes on each side of my forehead from the inside going out. And to add more dimension onto those detail stripes, I'm taking a black liquid liner and doing a little stripe within the big silver stripe just to add a little bit of dimension. And no one wants to see your glue on your eyelashes, so I'm making sure that I'm going in with a black liquid liner just to clean up any lash glue. I'm also running my waterline again with a black eyeliner just to get rid of any skin tone and deepen my eyes. With the same eyeliner, I'm mapping out where I want the whiskers to go just so I don't have to commit right away. And once I like the placement, I am going in with the black liquid eyeliner just to deepen them up. My eyes needed something else, so I am simply taking a little bit of that charcoal gray and running that in the crease just to create a little bit more definition. I can't live without this roll on shimmer so I'm going to be applying a little bit of that on the inner parts of my eye up to my brow bone. And to lock my makeup in place I'm using the HD powder. I added in a little more wispy detail above my eyebrow to mimic the look of my lashes. 